Did you know that the modern human technology began 75,000 years ago and its origin can be traced all the way back to Africa before spreading to community elsewhere? Now, by that I mean the ancient African people had their own computers and smartphones with GPS system in it to help them track animals when they were out for uh, hunting. No, they didn't. That last part, that's not true. I'm just making stuff up. <laughs> but really though, Africa was at one point more advanced than any other civilizations. And forget about the Europeans, Africa was more dominant than Europe at some point. We've got empire like the Mali Empire, the Ethiopian Empire, the Mosi Empire, yes, the Kingdom of Ghana, and so many other powerful kingdoms at the time. I bet you have no idea that any of those empires ever existed before, huh? <laughs> well, you're on the right place, buddy. <laughs> The reality is that the ancient African people, just like many other ancient people of the world, had their own geniuses that allowed them to create technology to make the environment a better place of living, which definitely inspired the modern human technology. And that is today's topic of the video, the ancient African technology. Okay, let's get started. Hello and welcome back to Afrotech Destiny. My name is Isa and my job is to talk about Africa and the tech side of it. If you're new to this channel, please give it a like, subscribe, of course if you like it, yeah. So to begin, I want to take you back all the way to the 13th century, during the time of these great empires that I've listed earlier. And for a better understanding, I will showcase these ancient technology in four major disciplines that I found very interesting. Let's start with math. Because I love math, right? 35,000 years ago, the Egyptians scripted a textbook about math, which include divisions and multiplication of fractions. And they also came up with geometric formula to calculate um, the area of and the volume of different shapes. Distance and angle were calculated and algebraic equations were solved and mathematical based predictions were made. For example, they were able to do probabilities to actually find out whether the uh, the size of the flood of the Nile River will be. They consider a circle to have 360 degrees and estimate pi to be around 3.16. That is really impressive, right? How did they know that? Not only that, they went further to, to develop their own numerical system based on 10 units, of course. And so as the Yoruba people in modern day Nigeria did, the Yoruba system was really impressive. Instead of 10 units, the Yoruba system was based on 20 units and which required a lot of subtractions to actually identify different numbers. Now, when it comes to the engineering and the uh, architecture level of the ancient African people, the Egyptians' engineering achievements were mind-blowing. I guess the pyramid need no introductions, right? But anyway, the larger of these pyramids were about 600,000 square foot and were built with 2.25 million of black of stone. Really awesome. Now, how do they do that? I don't know. They definitely had the technology to build those giant pyramids. Now, when it's come to the South Sahara, although they didn't feel the need to build big building like the Egyptians and the Europeans did, but yet they still did build some large city and large buildings. Some example of that will be the large stone walls in the Zimbabwe or with Mozambique, for example. But the architecture level of the Mali Empire was really outstanding with great cities like Tombuktu, for example, with grand palace, universities and grand mosques. Tombuktu at the time was the world university and was considered the center of learning at the time. Mind you, this is the 13th century. <laughs> yeah. Now, when it comes to medicine, before the European invasion of Africa, medicine in modern-day Nigeria, Egypt, and South Africa were way more advanced than medicines in Europe. For example, they used plant with salicylic acid for pain, as in aspirin today. They used the kaolin in, for diarrhea, as in the kaopectate today. They used plants that have anti-cancer property and treated malaria. But now, you might say, oh, Isa, you're an idiot. This is not tech. 
this is just some random traditional medicine. Well, when you think about it, the majority of, of our prescription drugs are actually based on plants, which the ancient people of Africa knew to use since the 13th century. Pretty impressive, right? Okay, so I've spoken about math, um, archaeology and engineering and also medicine, right? Um, so let's wrap this up with the metallurgy aspect of it. Now, if you don't know what metallurgy is, it's basically the technique of um, heating the metal so it can give you a um, certain shape or certain properties, right? Between 1500 and 2000 years ago, the people in modern day Tanzania, Rwanda and Uganda had an advanced technique in metallurgy than those of the Europeans. Many advances in metallurgy and tool making were actually made across the entirety of the ancient Africans. And these include um, steam engine, um, carbon steel weapons and arts, just to name a few. The African metallurgy was later on said to have given life to the industrial revolutions. In fact, when the Europeans first arrived into those regions, they were actually blown away by the Tanzanian surfaces, which could reach 1800 degrees Celsius, 400 degrees Celsius warmer than those of the Roman at the time. Okay, let's take a pause right here. I am not saying that Africa is more dominant than Europe or Europe is inferior to Africa. I'm just commenting based on my basic knowledge, some of the cool technology that were present in Africa at the time where Europe were not advanced. With that being said, that is it for today's video. I have linked some more resources in the description down below for you to check out more cool stuff about the ancient African tech. Now, if you found it interesting, please give it a like. If you didn't like it anyway, um, comment, let me know what you think about the ancient African people. And please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you and see you next time. Bye-bye.